anybody's toes. I was in her chat for a while, um, but I only have a little bit of time tonight to come on live. And so I wanted to try and get some blocks done for the goldfinch pattern from Legit Kids that I've had. I feel so bad because um, I got the long arm. You know, it's only been here. I mean, it's going to be a, a week now. It's been a week because they set it up last Saturday. But ever since the long arm's gotten here, I've abandoned all sewing. And I've just been trying to figure that out and get quilts done and all that. So I felt bad for neglecting my little bird over here. And so we've got a lot of blocks to do. And I wanted to hop on tonight and work on some of them. I'm probably going to hit all of like the easier blocks and then um, try and get the more detailed, like intricate pieces um, throughout the week. And maybe we can get it done this week or maybe next week because like I said, I have that test quilt coming up from Heather. My mother-in-law actually picked up my fabric for that. And because um, I was mentioning that Heather really loves to cut. And I might be going out to Texas to see her. And so I was like, maybe I'll just bring my, bring my fabric over for Heather to cut because she loves cutting. And my mother-in-law was like, I'll cut it for you. I'll do it. So um, I sent her home with the fabric the other day. And so we're just waiting on the pattern because there's some revisions that need to be made. And so once um, Heather sends it over, my mother-in-law is going to cut all the fabric and I'm going to piece that thing together. Another big announcement, or I guess it's not that big, but... I switched out my sewing machines. So this poor little machine, ever since the cutie got disassembled and um, put back in a box, waiting for a new owner still, um, has been sitting on a desk. And I knew that I didn't want to get rid of this machine because the Juki is a power horse. Like it is an industrial sewing machine. Um, so it'd be silly to get rid of it because I know it's going to last a long time. So what I did was ask my husband if he could cut out another piece of this uh, I'm gonna probably say it wrong mylamine I don't know it's some sort of really cheap wood that you can get at Home Depot and he traced the bottom of the juki and um he put my juki in there hi Don oh my gosh that was so much fun we had a lot of fun today he was a really fun person to interview it was really nice and so um the juki's in here so what you're going to watch me do right now is try to find my foot because I have a um, foot on there that I don't want for piecing. And so I have to try and figure out, and I think this one is right here. You can kind of just tell this goes with the Juki because it is a thick foot. I know this doesn't go on my singers, so um, that's really nice that I found it. I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to. I was like, oh my gosh. I want to sew, but if I can't find the right foot, I'm screwed. So we're going to switch our foot out. Um, we've got a bobbin in here. I don't know how much thread. I mean, again, this hasn't been used since I was quilting with the cutie. So um, I just really wanted to switch it out and um, use this one a little bit more. Get to know it a little bit better. Maybe attach the knee bar to it. I don't know if my table's too high for the knee bar to work, but that'd be really cool to try and figure out because I've seen other people using it and it looks very nifty if I didn't say so myself. Okay, so we're putting on our foot and we are going to do some legit kit sewing tonight. So fun. I could go get the knee bar, but I have no idea how it works and, uh, that might just be too much of a hot mess for you guys tonight. I need to finish threading this. So the one thing that I, I feel like the, the Juki has a really weird threader. Like that's the one complaint. If I was to make one complaint about this machine, it's that the threader is just so weird. It like, it's just not, I don't get it. But I need to learn how to use it, so I'm going to try. I think I did it one time correctly when it was on the Juki or on the Cutie frame. It's just weird. Anyone else feel that way? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. There we go. I got it. Yay. Okay. 
I'm excited to piece with this. Like I said, I haven't done any like actual sewing with it. And so we are going to play around and get acquainted with this machine. Thank you, Austin and my father-in-law for cutting the table. Hello, Janet. Hope you are having a good start to your day. I need to grab my snippers. <laughs> I've not heard of one person that can do it constantly or at all, right? It's kind of weird. It's like, usually they're on the side and then they wrap around the back where it's like, you know, facing you. But this one, it's in front of you and then it goes to the side. It's just really strange. All right, let's fire it up and see if it even works. Poor thing. I should probably oil it. Oh no, there we go. Okay, and I'm gonna set it. Oh gosh. There we go. I want it close to like one and a half. So let's just try that. Should I go get the knee bar and see if it works? Hello, Tracy. Oh, nice, Janet. I hope it turns out well. Let me know. Let me know. Um, I'm going to grab the knee bar and see if it reaches where my knees are. I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. It's just right over here. I'm so excited to sew with this, though. So excited. Okay. I'm guessing it goes like this. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work for me. Just with how my, uh, or maybe, yeah, it's too far back in my table for this to work. It's so close, though. If it was even just, like, maybe two inches closer, like, my table, my machine in the table, it would work. Because I'm guessing it goes like this and you just go like that. <laughs> Bummer. Okay. That's okay. We will get used out of it some other time. All right, I'm gonna hit the easy blocks. Like I said, I don't have a ton of time to sew tonight, but we've got plenty of time this week. So no worries. I feel like my templates aren't even in here. Yeah, none of these are my actual, there they are. I haven't touched this in a week because of the long arm, so I need to reacquaint myself. I'm only gonna be on for about an hour, I know. But this week, um, I'm going to be on live a little bit more than I have been recently. I did a poll and I asked about like what day works best for everyone for me to go live. And I got a lot of people saying Tuesday. Um, I've just been getting so tired at night. Um, the days are long, the kids are crazy, and I feel like the, the tired part of pregnancy is among us. It's here, and it's kicking my butt. Okay, A1. Let's do A1. Oh gosh, maybe not, let's not do it. Let's do A3. We are looking for A3, because that is an easy block, A3B, cool. And then A4 is another easy block, let's pull that out. B4 is another easy block, let's pull that out. See, that's all one piece, so that's going to be super fast. That looks like the easiest out of the three, so maybe we can get two. I think we can get all three done because B4, A3 are all one paper, so just depends on how fast I can get that fabric pulled from the pile. I'm going to put my little things right there. Um, and my whole sewing area right now 
is a disaster because um, I switched the table out. It's a new table that they cut for me. So I kind of have to do some housekeeping right now. I apologize um, because my mat, I don't even know where they put my mat. Where's my wool mat and my cutting board? It's probably right here and I just don't see it. Just don't see it. I'm sorry, I should have had this set up, but I was just excited to get on. I don't know where they put that. I have no idea. Oh, here it is. Yay! We need this stuff for sure. How am I going to iron and trim? Well, darn. Hubby just got home, so it's dinner and TV time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll see you this week, I promise. I'm going to get better about not being a lazy bum at night. <laughs> Hi, Janine. Hey, Kathleen. Hi, Christine. Thank you. I had so much fun today. I have mad respect for anyone with those established time slots. Um, aw, thank you. Yeah, I, I used to just come on whenever. Like, I used to come on, I would just come so every night. Um, and I still, I still love to sew. It's not like that's changed. I've just gotten so tired. I just get so tired. Let me pull my pants down. Uh, okay. Gotta get all my tools. It's been a while since I've sewn. So I'm kind of out of practice, but it's okay. Okay. All right, let's just do B4 real quick. It's only three sections. So I need S, U, J, U, and N, B. And we need to find in B. Perfect. And um, what's been helping me, because I don't have a ton of space right here, is getting my little table tray or my TV tray. Boop. And popping it right next to me so I can lay these fabrics down out of my way also so I don't accidentally nick them with my rotary cutter. Um, first shade is this really pretty spruce. So we are going to get that ready. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna kill me. Why is she getting up so much? My glue stick's over by the long arm because if you guys remember the other night on live, I had an open seam and you guys were like, glue it, glue it. So we have to grab my glue. Might as well grab my seam ripper while we're at it, even though I have another seam ripper over here. This one's my favorite, so I should probably get a few of these just so I have one by the long arm. And then one over here while I'm sewing. Okay. I'm using my gold scissors. I usually use my blue, or my, yeah, they're like a turquoise. Okay. I want to try and cut, like, strategically, you know what I mean? He did say today they do include a lot of extra and they have a policy where, um, you know, if you run out, they will send you more, but I just want to be careful and not get crazy with, uh, overcutting. So I'm overcutting right now, but. I can use what's being trimmed off. I know that what I'm trimming off is going to be a very decent size that I can probably use in a different block. So that's all of SU that I'm using. One more time I'm going to get up and that's to get my iron. I'm so sorry. My the sewing area is just a complete mess right now, honestly, because there's so much going on. Like, we just have so much going on all the time, it feels like. So, 
There's just chaos. We do need our, our foot over here. I'm rolling over cords and everything. Oh my gosh. I'm going to tidy up tomorrow before I start sewing. I'm going to an English paper piecing group tomorrow in Liberty. Um, and it's Angela's group. They meet every month. And so my mother-in-law really wants to learn English paper piecing. And so we're going to go tomorrow morning. So we're really looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. So I'm finally trying, finally trying English paper piecing, finally doing it. I swore it off for how long I told you guys I'm never going to do English paper piecing. And then my mother-in-law gets me to go do it. But I think it's going to be really fun. I got some hexi templates. I finally caved and got the sew line glue. So I will let you guys know if I think it's worth the extra money to buy the sew line glue stick over Elmer's glue. But I knew I was running low on this. So I was like, why not? We'll just try it. And um, it came with refills. So All right, number two is this NV fabric. So we're gonna trim our seam allowance. Man, I haven't sewn in so long. I've missed you. It's also a lot easier to talk to you guys when the long arm isn't going rah, 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 rah. <laughs> It's so loud. I think the next quilt, Austin may be a little excited. He has his dragon quilt laid up on the long arm right now. So I think he wants his to be next. So um, I want to do a cool dragon pantograph or flames, but I'm waiting for some thread to come in. We did our first wholesale order. So I think I'm going to make a video of like me opening a box of glide thread. So I'm really excited about that my first wholesale order. What Tiffany's making tonight is beautiful. I was like, I don't really want to I don't really want to go live and miss out, but I'll have to catch the rest of the replay. But those blues are just gorgeous. I feel like the universe is trying to tell me to try a um, open bot or an open gates subscription, but I just, I don't need anything extra to spend money on. See, this is a generous, I cut generously and I know it. Okay, here we go. We're going to fire up the Juki. I haven't used the Juki ever for, for piecing. And so Wish me luck. Wish me luck because we are doing it. I'm kind of scared, honestly. Here we go. And I usually plug my iron in like behind my uh, laptop, but like I said, it's a madness. Everything's not where. Oh gosh. Well. Need to turn my feed dogs up because I'm actually piecing. my gosh listen to it purr hello donna hey beautiful welcome back long arm stole you away it so did oh why was i not piecing with this before and we cut the thread with our foot pedal that is just freaking awesome that is such a good machine you can just hear it you can feel it oh my gosh i love you juki i love you man i'm still gonna keep my singer um i love my singer my parents actually bought me that machine when mine fell through a vintage sewing machine table and cracked um so i'm gonna keep it i love that machine there's nothing wrong with that machine at all 
but it's going to turn into my traveling machine if I go to a retreat or a class um, and I need to bring a sewing machine with me, I'll bring that one. Which, another fun announcement is, um, so I said that me and my mother-in-law, and actually my sister-in-law, just, she just said that she wanted to go. So we're all going to go do that English paper piecing class with Angela Walters tomorrow. And um, so that's going to be really fun. But also, me and my mother-in-law are going to do a retreat with the guild that we went to that meeting for. We really liked the guild. The meeting was really fun. And they're holding a retreat at a lake in Missouri and it's gonna be so fun and it's really reasonable I don't know like the going price for a retreat or anything um, so I don't really have anything to base it off of but you get six meals included two nights of like um, rooming or whatever and we're gonna probably share a room we're going to we're going to share a room and then you get a six foot table. That's like, that's insane. Six feet of table space. And, uh, that is all for $205 and it's at a lake and there's like trails and, um, stuff like that to do. So that's really fun. So we're really excited about that. It's going to be in October. So maybe I'll do some, I'll have to ask the guild members, obviously, but maybe I'll be like, Hey, I've got a little YouTube. Can I record our fun retreat? I have a light box. Donna's probably like, what the heck are you doing? Get a light box woman. Um, I bought one but I just can't figure out a way to fit it into my space. There's so much going on. So maybe if I put another um, TV tray on this side of me and put the light box and hook it up, it'll work out. Um, I honestly just need to put my space back together. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. There's so much going on. Listen to that. You got me hooked on it, lol. I have a really fun green one over there. I need to use it. I feel like anyone can get hooked on FPP. FPP is the best. Hello, Chloe. Kathleen, if you want to, just do one in Chexies to start. You don't need a template. The template helps if Bussy cut, but it, oh my gosh, I have the hiccups. It isn't necessary. Oh my gosh, isn't that juki just sound magical? And we finished a block. Yay, I think we can get all three of these done. And maybe even another one or part of another one. We're gonna trim our seam allowances or trim the extra away from our seam allowances, I should say. I'm hooked on FPP, Janet says. It's the best. And I feel like I'm interested to see what my mother-in-law thinks of tomorrow. I'm not saying anything bad about English paper piecing. And honestly, I have no room to because I've never done it before. But I feel like after tomorrow, I'm still going to think that FPP is like the best paper piecing method. Because um, there's no hand sewing or anything like that. My mom texted me. She's making slippers. I'm so excited to get this done because um, this pattern is just so freaking cool. Okay. There we go. There's before. See how quick that was? There are some really, really quick blocks in this pattern. They're not all super complex and crazy. It gives you that um, gratification to keep going and not get so overwhelmed like he was talking about today. 
hate hand sewing. I know I am cheating, so I'm not going to do any hand sewing. I'm not bringing any needles tomorrow. Or maybe I do need to bring needles tomorrow. You can just glue them, right? Can't you just use a glue stick and glue the fabric onto the templates? Hmm. Do you have to hand sew them? Because if so, I'm going to have to figure out some needle situation to bring out there and some thread. <laughs> because I don't have, I mean, I have some Allison Glass thread right there that I was going to use to do some um, hand binding, but that never happened. That never happened. Okay. Now we need N, L, I, O, and N, V again. Let's see if this, no, there's no way. That's not going to cover that space. Um, N, V, N, L, and I, O. Perfect. We've got them all. Okay. N, L. Goodbye, Amy. Have a good time with your husband tonight. Beth, is your mom making slippers and sorry, I always call it. <laughs> yes, she is. She is making them in crochet. Let me show you the picture. She is crocheting some slippers. She gave me a pair. Look how cute those are. And she's using this super fluffy yarn. So those are really fun. Cute. She is crocheting like crazy lately. Um, let's try and find how we're going to cut this. Again, I'm okay with cutting a little bit bigger, but I don't want to get too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Let's just do this. fun was Mike today though? He is so fun to talk to. Can you believe that someone who does anesthesia every day, like day in and day out, put together a foundation paper piecing business the way that he has? Like that is really incredible. Sorry, my nose is bothering me. Oh yes, I see that ring tone. I love it. Aw. Yes, I will ask her if she can share the pattern. I think she would love to do that. Hello, Natalie. Happy Sunday. that a little bit. I need to figure out this whole situation. There is just stuff everywhere right now. It's giving me some anxiety because I usually have my space like exactly how I want it. And right now it is, it is uh, a little wild. Now I need to figure out how I cut this to fit. Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> No, I hate when I do this. There we go. That way, that works. Bye, Janet. I have to do laundry. I have to do laundry. I'm so bad at it. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at keeping up with it. I feel so bad because I could be do la doing laundry right now, but I'm playing, I'm sewing, and I always feel really guilty. And the days just go by so fast. Today, um, my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, and my father-in-law were all over today putting together a, a, a play set because the one that we got when we moved here was literally falling apart. Like you could have breathed on it and it looked like it was gonna fall over. And so they got the kids a play set for their Christmas present. 
and uh, got it a little bit early so that they could enjoy it once the weather gets a little bit better. It was really hot today. I don't know how they did it, but they worked their tails off and got it done. And so, um, yeah, and then we had the interview. I was like, I'm going to do laundry this weekend. It did not happen. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be doing that um, English paper piecing thing with Angela. I should say at Angela. I'm not literally doing it with Angela. It's not like she was like, hey, come do EPP with me. No, it's like a group of hers. And it's going to be in the event center that we did the interview. So that's really cool. But am I going to be doing laundry while I'm doing that? No. So are we going to be even more behind? Yes. I need to just pick a night. Maybe on a long arm night. We can turn it into long arm and laundry. <laughs> because our laundry room is actually in the basement. So we could set up long arming and laundry nights. Where we do a quilt together. And I fold some laundry. And we just chat. How fun would that be? Beth, where's the washer and dryer? In the basement? Or it's downstairs. Which makes it even worse. Because I'm down here right now. Guilty as charged. <laughs> well, let's see. You know what I found interesting was when he was saying that he couldn't go to QuiltCon because of Violet Craft. Don't get me wrong. I love her patterns and I've done the elephant. Yeah, I was honestly taken back. I was like, wait, should I have even asked that question? Um, honestly, it just, it really surprised me because I feel like Legit Kits is like a very distinct, they've got a distinct style. They've got, if you see a pattern that's a legit kit pattern, you know it's a legit kit pattern. And I could say the same for Violet Craft. Like, you see her patterns and you're like, that's a Violet Craft pattern. They both have their own flavor. And I think it's ridiculous. And I feel like they're really missing out to not have legit kits be part of QuiltCon. Because, one, they already have a great following. People love legit kits. And it's amazing. Like, the stuff that... He was showing today those quilts. They're beautiful. And so the fact that they're going to exclude someone is just uh, beyond me. But I'm not a quilt con person, so, or like an administrator. So what do I know? But I think that they are truly missing out. Truly. It's kind of sad, actually. But it is what it is. I feel like there's room for everybody, and I don't see a lot of similarities between between uh, the two. I really don't. I've done her, I did her violet, um, her cardinals abstractions. I made that table runner last Christmas, and it was really, really pretty. So it's not like I have anything against Violet Craft. I just think it's really silly that they're not going to let legit kits have a booth at QuiltCon. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. Yeah, I was like, after I asked, I was like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have asked that. Because <laughs> I don't, I didn't really like the answer. That was not a fun answer to hear. I hope that was big enough. Where's the washer? Oh, I already, I already read that. Um, I do a load a day. Janet, you are wise. <laughs> you are wise. There's politics in all lines of business. It's just sad, honestly. They're both in, like they're both really good. They're both talented in their own ways and they have their own thing going on. And so I don't know. I just it was interesting to hear that. I was not expecting that at all. I kind of figured everybody was welcome. In Quilt Con, but I guess not. Maybe we'll do it this way. Because there was a divot. So 
so much stuff right here. Uh, hi, Delia. That's never going to get old, honestly. Do you hear that? That was awesome. You might have been referring to appearing as a lecturer. I can't imagine they would stop them from being a vendor. I don't know. Sounded like that was the case. Beth, your smile speaks. Aw, thank you, Donna. Feels good to be sewing again. I'm a little short on this corner, but I'm not worried about it. I'm literally. Let's see, let's crease this out. I'm like an eighth of an inch short, but it's going to be in the seam allowance, so it's okay. You can be a little off sometimes. Sometimes you cannot, but sometimes you can't. So it's just figuring out when you can fudge things a little bit and how you can fudge things to make it work. Yes, I hear it, Beth. I thought I was the only one. I pray great attention to the sound of your machine. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Feels really, it feels good to actually be using it because it's honestly been painful. We bought it to be on the cutie and now that I'm long arming, I'm not using the cutie and the cutie's put away, um, waiting for someone to take it, take it over. Um, and so it's just been sitting all sad. It makes me really sad. Like you poor little thing poor little machine. I got you and you had a purpose and now you don't and you're just going to get dust on it. So I asked Austin, pretty please, can you cut me um, a new a new piece of board for the sewing machine to fit in? And he said, of course. So he did it today while they were um, doing the play set. So they had all their big tools and everything with them and they brought the jigsaw and so this is the first time I've ever actually pieced with this um, machine before. It's really nice. Really nice. I tried to see if the knee bar would fit, but the sewing machine's too far back in the table. Um, the bar doesn't reach, which is fine. It's totally fine. I have no problem lifting the presser foot. I know that's a really cool feature. But I'm just happy I get to use the automatic thread cutter on the pedals. So I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I am fine with that. Isn't the cutie a long arm, but not? Yes, it is like a, um, a midsize. I would just call it like the best alternative if, yes, I am, Delia. Um, the best alternative to a long arm for affordability and for space. So even if you can't afford a long arm, it doesn't mean you can fit it somewhere in your house. Like if you're in an apartment or you just don't have room for one, the cutie is amazing because you can just put it on a table. Um, I, I've talked about this channel a few times on here while we were doing our cutie stuff, but um, the Closet Quilter, that's a YouTuber and she has a channel and she covers the cutie and she has a cutie set up in her closet. So if you can fit one in your closet and quilt your own quilts and save money by not sending them to a long arm, doing them quicker than you can on your machine, go for it. A cutie, I had nothing against the cutie. The cutie was great. We were just blessed enough to be able to um, do a long arm. That's amazing. Hello, Sheila. How are you doing tonight? We are piecing some easy background blocks for our gold bench.
got about 30 more minutes and then I have to hop off. So I'm so sorry, but um, I will be able to be on this week a lot more. I'm just going to like caffeinate. Just get a bunch of caffeine in me. I'll drink a coffee. I don't even like coffee. I'll drink a coffee and come down here um, because it's not, I'm not tired right now. I'm tired when I go get Louise down because I lay down with her in bed and I cuddle her and I give her a bottle. Tonight Austin did that, but um, so I could come down here and get a little bit more time. But I get tired then and that's when it gets hard to come down here. So like the other night when we were doing our Friday Night Live with Heather, I was laying on the couch. I was like, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. But then once I get started doing what I'm doing, you know, I stayed up till one in the morning that night and I was tired before we went on. So it's not that I don't want to come on. I love coming on. It's so much fun. Um, it's just sometimes I get really comfy and I get really tired lately, but we're almost, we've got a few more weeks. We will be out of the first trimester and so I'll get some energy, hopefully. Usually that's how it works out. We'll see but hopefully I'll have a little bit more energy in a few weeks once the second trimester comes about. Look at that! Very nice! I just feel good that I'm making progress. I felt so bad um, that I didn't have more done, especially with the interview today. But he totally understood. I told him in the studio before we got started, I love your patterns. Don't take this personally, but I got a long arm last weekend. And so I've been in long arm world and I even have these still hanging on the couch. Cause I was showing him before we went on, like I did this one and I showed him the strawberry quilt that we quilted the other, I should say morning, but the other night. And he was like, Oh, that's awesome. So I don't think he was offended in any way, but I felt bad. I wanted to have more done in time for our interview. But I've been trying to learn the long arm. It's just really hard sometimes to juggle all the things that you want to do. Um, so, my phone's vibrating the table. And honestly, this table's, this paper is amazing. Um, he said today, like, if you want to get a digital pattern and you have a specific paper that you really, really love, then you can do that. This is really good paper. I really love um, Carol Doak's paper, and I would compare this to that. It might even be that. Who even knows? He's probably like, yep, that's Carol Doak's paper. I don't know. But I would compare it to that. Maybe even just a little bit thinner than the Carol Doak's paper. Just by a little bit. Like that's what I would compare it to. It's really nice foundation paper. So I really don't see a need. Um, and unless you're just wanting to buy the digital pattern to save money and then use your own fabric, if you have, you know, the fabric to cover the whole pattern, definitely understand that. But if you're going to do it and you just want to put your own paper on it because you don't know if it's good paper, it's good paper. It's really nice paper. And I'm not just saying that. I don't have any, anything to gain from saying that. I just really enjoy good foundation paper. And that was one of the things I noticed when I opened this up. I was like, wow, this is really nice paper. I was like, wow, I'm a nerd. I'm, I'm commenting on the paper quality. That's how you know you've gone a little too far in FPP world. FPP land. You gotta take care of you and the baby and get lots of rest when you can. I know, I just feel so unproductive and I feel so bad when I don't come on. Because I miss you guys. And uh, I don't want you guys to be like, where'd she go? So I'm going to do something I never really do. I'm going to trim it like right close to that seam allowance because this is like almost a perfect match for this. Um, but I want to make sure that I'm in bounds. So I'm going to trim it as close as I can to that seam allowance line so I can line up that piece of fabric perfectly. Cause it's literally spot on but if I have the extra hanging off it's hard to get a good alignment Beth 
Where's the washer and dryer? Upstairs or in the basement? It's in the basement, Kathleen. I know. I could be doing it right now. But that's why I'm thinking we should start a series where we do long arm and laundry together. I'll make sure that I'm not folding any undies or anything <laughs> while we're doing it. But, yeah, I need to get better about it. I feel so bad. Austin picks up all of the slack in the house. I will say that I married, like, a rock star. Like, he picks up the slack. He cleans up all the time. He takes care of the kids. He does the laundry. He cooks. He cleans. He's a rock star. So even though I'm not always on it, um, he, he really is. Okay. See, this fits perfectly. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Interesting. What kind of paper are you using? This is the paper that was supplied in the legit kit. So I don't know what paper they use, but it's really, really nice. And it reminds me of Carol Doak's paper. So that's something that like he mentioned today where he was like, and if you want something else, you can just print it on your own paper. If you have a favorite, you don't need to, you don't need to. It, this is really nice fabric. So, or really nice, um, paper. Can't speak. Can't even get this fabric to go where I want it to. Again, if it's off by just a little bit, I'm not too concerned because it's going to catch in the seam allowance. I just want it to be close. Since this is like a very close piece, I'm going to be a little extra finicky than I normally would. Just so I know it fits really well. Very nice. Okay. Oh my goodness. Woo! It's newspaper paper. It's really nice. Beth, maybe you can share a list of FPP, ugh, FPP, PPP paper so we can try them too. Um, I've only tried a few. So I, I've, um, I've tried the Carol Dokes paper. I love that. That's what I buy 99% of the time. So that's why I haven't tried a ton of other ones because I've found what I like and I just really love it. Um, I did give Quiet Plays paper a go. And so that's what I'm using when I'm doing the block of the month with Heather. I am piecing with quiet play foundation paper and I love that paper it is really really nice the only thing is it's a little bit more expensive than the Carol Dokes paper and so um, maybe in the future I'll buy it again I don't know um, I just don't know if I love it enough to justify spending even more money on paper because um, you know we've got to find where we're gonna cut ourselves off and stop you know and I really do think that Carol Dokes paper is affordable. It's nice. But the, I really do. Those are like probably my top two. Are those the only two that I've tried? Yes. But I am using this newspaper paper, um, Dawn said. And I really enjoy this too. And I know that Heather will buy um, newsprint off of Amazon. You can buy it in bulk. And it's really cheap. So if that's what this is, I recommend that. It's just up to you guys uh, what you're willing to spend money on. You know, is it important to have more expensive paper? Not really. You're tearing it out. You're throwing it away anyway, right? So um, I think as long as it's thin enough to where you can see the underneath while you're piecing and it tears away easily, that's all that matters. I use copy paper all the time, too. Um... That was going to be, I don't know if I included it in my FPP tip video, but that was one of the things. I get so excited to print patterns, and um, I usually have copy paper. I have copy paper in the printer loaded all the time. And so 
when I get too excited and I don't stop myself, I end up just printing my patterns on copy paper because I'm so excited. And by the time I come down here, I'm like, dang it, I didn't switch my paper out. It happens all the time. Do I reprint it? No, I just keep going because copy paper works just fine. It's just a little bit more tedious because you can't see through it as easily. It's thicker. And so that's really what's important. You want to be able to see, easily see the underneath of your block at all times. So you see what shapes you are needing to cover with your fabric. And if you can't easily see that, it just, it becomes more difficult. A way to get around that is getting a light box. Um, that's a great way if you wanna use copy paper and it's, it's hard to see through, get a light box. That's a one-time cost and they're not too expensive. You can find one for like 20 bucks and that will assist you in your paper piecing and you're able to see, so that's a win-win. It just really depends on where you wanna spend more money in with sewing, because uh, quilting's so expensive as it is, so having extra expenses gets overwhelming. And especially in today's world, things are expensive. Hi, Courtney, how are you? I still got you on the background, Beth. If you do a load day, fold straight away. Once dry, you'll find you can stay on top of it. Trust me, it just takes a little time. That, um, that's great advice. Plus, put the clothes away. As soon as, I don't have a problem with folding. I mean, I really like folding. My problem is getting the laundry in the washer and then getting the laundry put in the drawers, the clean laundry. I'm terrible at it. Terrible. So, um, I did see one time someone was like, if you're bad at putting your laundry away when it's all done, because we like to keep it in a basket for a long time, and you're basically just pulling clean clothes out of a basket. That's like our, our terrible habit. Um, and someone gave us advice one time, or I read it somewhere. It was like, fold the clothes that you're doing in the room that it goes to. So if you're um, folding Addie's clothes, Fold them in Addington's room so that when you're done, you're right there. There's no excuse to put it in a basket and walk away. You know what I mean? So that's a really good piece of advice. Have I followed it? No, I have not. But I think about it all the time. <laughs> think about it all the time. It's really hard to break bad habits. Um, but you need clean clothes, so can only have bad habits for so long before you have nothing to wear <laughs> or you have things to wear but you're digging through a basket of clean clothes yeah we need to get better about it because soon we're going to be a family of six so there's going to be even more clothes and if we're behind now then we're going to be super behind when the baby gets here and uh then we're going to be like drowning so maybe i'll do a load a day like janet's saying that's a really good piece of advice Oh, darn, it's pretty, but I'm cat. <laughs> Talking about middle names. There we go. I live about 10 minutes from Edmond. I think the guy lives in Oklahoma City. He does. I fold on the dryer and then put everything away, but these days it's just Paul and I. Oh, gosh, I couldn't imagine just doing Austin and I stuff. You can get the newspaper on Amazon, yes, and you can get it really cheap. I can't believe this. I took a huge chunk out of my... Oh! Oh, no! Kathleen, yeah, be careful with that because you don't want to cut your finger. You don't want to cut your finger. All right, we've got 15 minutes. Do you think we can get this block done? If I stop gibber-gabbering, we should be able to get this third block done. No problem. Yeah, he is in Oklahoma, he said. I've only been to Oklahoma one time for a softball tournament that we were working. Austin's brother used, well, he still works for them, but they don't have this part of the business anymore where um, we would print softball shirts at these leagues or these tournaments for people. 
and they were long summer days but one time there was one in Oklahoma so that's like the only time I've ever been to Oklahoma it's not too far from me though I think it's like what like two and a half hours three hours away If I can get these cut faster, I should be able to get this third one done. Hopefully that's big enough. Yep. I really hope that I don't have to message him and say, hey, I need some more fabric because I'm irresponsible and I don't eyeball it. I told him before I was talking about Heather that she did her the scholar bowl oh I can't even talk tonight I told him before we went on we were talking for a little bit and I t told him that Heather recently did the scholar bowl quilt for her brother and I watched her do it and um, she knocked it out in a month and she just killed it and uh, I was like yeah she pre folds and pre cuts and I just Swiss cheese everything and he's like uh huh and I'm like Okay, well, you, if you get a message from me, you know why. I just admitted my sins. He's going to be like, yeah, we're probably going to be hearing from her because she is not um, methodical enough. By about 10 minutes. Let's see. And my mother in law is going to come pick me up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Probably going to be a little bit sooner than that because we're also picking up my sister in law now. Um, so it's going to be bright and early. I honestly am excited, but I don't know what to expect. I really don't. I don't know how many people are going to be there. I don't know what like seating is going to be like. I don't know what it's going to be like, but it's going to be really fun. Um, and I'm going to learn something new. So if you're not learning something new, then kind of like what Mike said, you're getting bored. You're getting bored. Might as well keep learning. And I feel like in quilting, there's just so much to learn. And so... My mother-in-law gets all of the credit for finally getting my butt to try English paper piecing. We will let you know how that goes. I completely eyeballed that. Yay, it works. Sometimes I'm really confident in my eyeballing and sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm quite suspicious about what I was thinking while I was eyeballing something. You're like, no, my judgment could have been way any more worse. OMG, where are you going? We are going to go to an EPP group um, in Liberty, Missouri. So Angela Walters has an English paper piecing group that meets every month. And so we heard about it at the quilt walk. And we really wanted to try it out. And so we are going tomorrow morning, bright and early. It's about a 45 minute drive for us to get up to Liberty, Missouri, which isn't bad at all, not complaining, um, but that's why we're leaving so early. And so we're gonna just do some English paper piecing. I bought some hexi templates I need to figure out what fabric I'm going to bring. I'm probably going to wake up super early and get all my stuff together tomorrow because I'm irresponsible. But I want to bring scissors, template, glue pen, fabric. I'm not going to bring needle and thread. I feel like I'm just going to be gluing fabric. I don't know. I don't even have needle and thread for hand sewing. I don't have needles, that's for sure. So maybe she'll have some there for us to mooch off of or purchase there's like a seven dollar fee i believe once we get there to be in the group i think that's a monthly thing but seven dollars isn't bad at all to go hang out with angela and do some some paper piecing 
Um, there's also going to be someone that I really, really enjoy. Her name is Irene, and um, she helps Angela Walters. They're, like, good friends, and she's the one that my husband's um, co-worker is married to, and that's... You remember when I was like, I know someone who knows Angela Walters? Well, that's Irene, and she is so freaking nice, and... She kind of was the one that roped us into going because we were at the quilt walk and we were chatting with her waiting to get Tula's signature. And she was like, you need to go to this EPP group. You would love it. And Liz's ears were like, what? That sounds fun. And so I tried telling Irene, what about foundation paper piecing? She was like, I hate foundation paper piecing. And I was like, don't you dare say that. Oh my gosh. And so I told her, if I, if you get me to go to an English paper piecing group, you're going to be doing some foundation paper piecing. I'm going to get you to like it. So that's my goal. That is my goal. But we'll see. Maybe I won't enjoy EPP tomorrow. So if I can't enjoy something new, maybe she can't. I will extend that, that understanding her way. But I feel like everyone should love FPP. OMG, went to hang washing and the clouds came over, raining. Oh no! I don't have a dryer that uses up too much electricity. Oh no! Janet! I bet you are ripping those clothes down from those lines as fast as you can. Life is funny sometimes, how things work. Ladies, can we get those, like, buttons smacked for Beth? Helps her all. Thank you, Kathleen. You are a sweetheart. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Have a great night. Good night, Delia. We're going to piece the rest of this block, and then we're going to turn all of our machines off, and I will bid you adieu. But I said we were going to get these three done, and by golly, we're getting them done. We are. I'm honestly just going to line them up because it's an easy join right here. Should I be, should I be brave? No, I can't. I can't. Let's at least, let's at least clip these. I don't think I need to pin them. I'm not too worried about these uh, matching up perfectly. It's a very easy join. If there was more going on, like line-wise, I might have gotten my needles out or my pins out, but I'm not too worried about this. Alrighty. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. If there's any gentlemen watching, I haven't seen Luane come in or Sean, so I don't think there's any gentlemen watching, but perhaps there are. We've done it. We got the three blocks that we wanted to get done six minutes ahead of time. That's a little off. It's okay. Iron it down. Iron it down. They're all under my patio now. So good. When my three kids were, li were little, I used to hang clothes out on the laundry all the time. We have never done that before. I already suck at doing laundry. You add going outside when it's super, super hot. Mm, I would. There would be no clothes in the house. I would throw them all away. <laughs> okay. Here is our third block. Yay! We did three blocks tonight. That's awesome. So that brings us to five blocks done. Where are my papers? We have five blocks done. I believe we have 11 more to go. I think it's a 16 piece pattern. Here we go. Yep, it's 16 pieces, and so we've got five. That's not that's not terrible. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be bad. 
Honestly, the grass pieces are going to be my least favorite to do. I've already done this one in the bottom corner. And so I think that's going to take the longest right here. And then once I get into the body, these are some bigger chunks. So it's not going to be as crazy. And then I'm going to have the bigger background sections to do. It's really this grass section and even like up in the head where in the beak, there's a lot of tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces and detailings with the eyes and the um, contour of the face. So that's what's going to take a lot of time. But we can knock this out. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. I totally thought about that before I said that. I didn't consider if there's dudes lurking. I hang my in the drawer. Oh, nice. If you're looking, please smack that like button for Beth. Kathleen, you crack me up. Kathleen, I got a cheap rollerblade from Aldi a while back, and surprisingly, it works great for FPP. Pay your rent, guys. Thank you so much. Wow, tonight was really fun. We got to use the Juki for the first time off of the cutie frame, and I love it. That is a solid machine. Um, wow. And when it's on a frame, you don't really get to feel it as much. Like, you don't get to drive. Like, you you're driving this way, but you're not feeling it beneath your hands, and so great machine. If you don't have a Juki and you've thought about it, it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. So I'm going to go grab an ice cold cup of water, um, and maybe a blueberry pop tart. And I'm going to go lay down and put on a show and fall asleep. We have an early rise tomorrow morning. I think I'm going to put my stuff in a Tula bag. I have a Tula, um, project bag. So maybe I'll finally get some use out of that. I'm also going to have to decide what fabric I want to bring. I'll probably just go through my scraps, um, my rainbow scraps underneath my table so that I'm not really cutting into really nice fabric, especially if I'm not going to like it. I might not like it. I'm prepared to not like it. I'm not dissing EPP, but I know I'm not a hand sewer. So we'll see. I might be completely off base. I will tell you guys next video how it went. Put your knee bar on. So I actually have the knee bar. I brought it down. But my sewing machine is too far into my table. Like, I could probably scoot it forward um, and then cut part of the table off to reach. It's literally, like, two inches off, and I could have put this in and used it tonight. I was really excited to see how it worked. But it does not reach as the machine is right now. So there's going to have to be adjustments if I want to use the knee bar. Um, so we'll see. Love you, Beth. Everyone enjoy the evening. See you very soon. Hey, hey, Heather. Oh, no, you're hopping on right when we're hopping off. Would love a Juki. It's really great. If you can find one used even or on Craigslist. I don't know if you have a Craigslist in Australia, but they're really awesome. Facebook Market. Hello, Crystal. Oh, no. I wonder if Tiffany's live has ended and people are like, all right, let's go over on Beth's channel. And I'm leaving. No. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow night. I have the Juki TL 2000 QI, and it's amazing. Oh, my. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> I love you, Heather. You're so you're so funny. Good night. Good night, everyone who just hopped on. Good night to everyone who's been in the chat, hung out with me. We made three blocks for Goldfinch, and so we're going to work on this this week. I will be on live this week. Let's see if I can do it every night. Should we try to come down here every night? Hold me accountable. Message me in Discord. Message me on here and say, get your booty downstairs. You need to get that gold finch done. So I will see you all very soon. Love you guys. Um, bye. Have a good night. And also have a good Monday tomorrow. Mondays are brutal. Try to have a good one. Go in it with a smile.